Hello and welcome to Wild Fox Build. And today I am building the Lego Friends Panda Jungle Treehouse or set 41422. This set was released in 2020. I think it's probably retired soon, if not already retired. Uh, but you can find that out in the brick facts um, in the description. So yeah, this set has three bags, two characters, three pandas, a spider. And yeah, let's get building with the first bag. These are all of the pieces in the first bag before sorting. Decent amount of pieces. And after sorting, we have this many pieces. So you can see all the pieces clearly. We have lots of natural colors because it's a tree house in the jungle. So yeah, let's get building. So in bag one, we have our first character, which is Mia. So Mia has some purple lace boots or shoes with some... This is the same outfit that Mia has in every jungle set. And then, like, uh, a vest over the top of her green thing. I don't know. And then she has her standard face and her standard hair. This Mia is also in two other of the jungle theme sets, in excluding the cubes. And then we also have the panda for this bag, who is a gr uh, panda with, which has some bright green eyes. Uh, it's adorable and it even has hearts on its paws. That's adorable. So yeah, let's get building So in this bag we get a couple mini builds before we start the main build So the first mini build that we get is a little scale to So here's a scale you can see how heavy it is and a plate to go on it. So I guess you can either measure the food or uh, I suppose you could measure the pandas and then for our second mini build we get a little cart to transport bamboo on and some food for the pandas. So we start off by building on where the tires are gonna go. Well, they're not quite tires because it's quite a small vehicle. So we just put in all the little Technic pieces, uh, one in each slot, and then we add some cute yellow wheels. And I think this can probably slide along the ground or the table, whatever. And then on the back we get one with a, our first sticker of the whole set is some wood pieces. So it's a wooden cart transporting the pandas food. And then we get some more stickers, more wood stickers on either side of the cart. And then we get a handle so Mia can drag it along and a piece of bamboo to sit in the cart. And it even has a groove for all the leaves. Leaves. So Mia can just hold on to this and wheel it over to the hungry, hungry pandas. And I suppose you can also carry the, uh, the panda in that. And then for the third and final mini build for this bag, we get a seesaw. So this one's just sat on a piece of grass, smooth over the top sides. And then we get our little seesaw with two jumper plates on either side. I guess it can either be one panda, one person, or two pandas against each other because like the people can't stand fully centered but the pandas can just sit fully centered because uh yeah so that's the seesaw it's a prop me it looks a bit big for it but anyway now we get to get started on the actual main build and we start off with some flowers and a bit of rock i think over here and then back here we get a little pop of color it almost looks like a bed so just currently a bed surrounded by a couple rocks is what it looks like. And then we add on a bit more foliage and stuff. And then we get to start building up the actual tree that the tree house, panda tree house it's on. So we add four, um, three, four branches um, on either side. And on this one we have a second animal, which is a big brown spider. And we just continue building up the tree. And then it looks like the bed is just tucked into the trunk of the tree. Not sure how like, feasible that is in real life. But it looks pretty cute to have a little bed for the pandas. Or maybe for the people. The mini dolls, Mia. Uh, to sleep in at night. And then we also get what looks like the stalk of bamboo. But it's just missing the leaves. And then some more rocks out here. And building up the tree a little bit more. And there we go. There's the top for our bamboo just a couple steps later. And then we keep building up the tree in this direction. 
lots of leaves because it needs quite a um, strong and wide support for the actual treehouse bits but I'm gonna go with so we add on these green hooky ovary bits and this is everything that we have in bag one so it's time for bag two these are all of the pieces in bag two before sorting and so we got a decent amount of pieces and after sorting we have this many pieces so in this bag we have another panda and still lots of those natural colors though including a bit of pink this time and a bit of water or some blue pieces so yeah let's continue building this is what we were left with at the end of the last bag let's meet our character for this bag which is olivia who is the second mini doll in this uh set so olivia is just wearing some nice sand green pants and a very detailed dress this is her standard jungle outfit and her standard head and hair so that's olivia and then we have a panda another panda with green eyes and heart shaped paws i think this one is identical to the one in the first bag so here's some panda twins uh those pandas are also not unique to this set they have been included in other sets as well other lego friend sets and then over here we get a tap is our first thing to build a little drain and then a jumper plate and then we put some stones out here some hooks in the corner and then we can add a little stream with a bit of mud and uh, that's just trickling on through so the pandas after they've gotten muddy we can clean them off with the tap and they've made a bit of a mess on the little stream which looks very cute as it's just winding its way this small stream is just winding its way through. And then we get some more wood pieces to make a tiny bridge over the river. And then extending out this a little bit, adding some more little stones for detailing. And then we just get a little log seat, I guess. And then we have this box, another bit more foliage stuff on the ground and in the tree. And then we get another bamboo stalk so bamboo stalks are like littered all throughout or bam bamboo is littered all throughout the set so you can feed your pandas they can feed themselves and then we also get this giant wash tub with a sponge some soap and some water droplets four water droplets and this just hooks up here and i guess that's the tap that you can fill fill up the tub with presumably with river water but i mean i don't know and then up here just adding on more foliage up there and then we get this little um set of drawers with a syringe in the top drawer and this is another new little lace plate this is the base of the tree house that's going on top of the tree that we've already built mostly so this just sticks up here to o it's overhanging the little bath and it's got a great view of the river, probably. And then, yeah. So up here, well, before we get up there, we have some more giant leaves. One that's hanging from the side of the treehouse, because obviously it's in a tree. And one down here, so we can angle the foliage. And it's like a backdrop for the beautiful, relaxing bath. And then we also get a ladder, which is our way of getting up. You have to climb up the ladder to get in the treehouse. And then on here, we get some um, nice upside down flowers. So it really looks like even on like the non-natural things, like the ladders, nature is still growing and plants are still flourishing on that vine. On the, sorry, the ladders, like a vine. So this is everything back to you. Move now onto the final bag. This one has quite a lot more pieces. I don't know if this has more pieces than the other bag. But these are all of the pieces after sorting. We have less natural ones, more mermaid colours, and our third and final panda. So yeah, let's get building. So this is where we're back, and we have this adorable panda with blue eyes and some dirt or mud patches on her. And this panda is unique to this set. So this is your only chance to get this unique panda with the blue eyes. So yeah, and then in this box over here, we get some, I guess, some pre-cut feed. Uh, and some dried out feed as well. Dried out sticks, I'm going to presume they're for feeding the pandas. And then we add a hook over here. And we're just building this up a bit for the second attraction on this uh, treehouse. 
So down here, just extending it a little more, rounding it all out. So it looks like a heart with another bump in the middle. And then we're adding some little a poop there. That's very cute. So we have a little poop on the ground, probably the pandas. And then up, we're back up on the tree house and we've added a fence and some more tree branches snaking through it. A bottle to feed the pandas. All the, all, all the spider, you know? There's not much stuff here for the spider. Maybe they have to feed the spider as well. And a bit more foliage up here. I'm sure the spider's probably just fine on his own though. He's quite big. I imagine if the spiders preyed on the pandas. Maybe that's what they have to save the pandas from. I don't know if this is your set. You can tell your stories that you want to come up with. That's just a story that I have um, concocted. So up here we get a HLC mug and a cookie on this little table up here. And we get a computer with a white keyboard and a computer screen displaying an image of a panda and an image of bamboo and some writing. They're studying how, how much bamboo pandas need. I don't know. And adding on more of the fences, it's it's a very short fence, so I don't know how effective it will be. But anyway, it looks good. And then we added some poles, and that fell out. So then we get to keep building on the roof to go on top of those poles that we just stuck onto the treehouse. So up here, we're getting the purple thing because the theme of practically all the jungle sets is the dark purple, the light purple and that shade of green. So that's kind of continuous throughout all of the sets. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. And then also we get a big panda head, big buildable panda head to show that this is the panda res panda treehouse center, not any of the other jungle sets. So we're just adding on his ears and then we can start detailing their face. Uh, so we can stick on some eyes just to go right here a nose mouth combination and then just the back so it can attach onto uh, our roof so with that in place it means that when I pop this up here this can attach onto those poles if I can get it to just like that which means you have a roof kind of half roof it's not super a roof and then we can stick on the panda face up there and you can angle it how you want. Back in the tree house we get a walkie talkie, a heart walkie talkie, fairly short, again that's in all of the Lego Friends jungle sets, and the slide. So you can either climb up the slide and climb down the ladder or climb up the ladder and go down the slide. You also get some more foliage, again to like um, still integrate um, the nature, well this is my interpretation, the nature into every part of this build. So it really looks like they just built it out of nature and then like plants grew in around it. And then we also get another, some more foliage and another stalk of bamboo. This one is just sitting back here. A lot of this bamboo is very fiddly and very prone to like falling off or breaking. But some more foliage up here. The emblem of all the jungle sets, I guess. A broom, a spade, a shovel, sorry. And a tire swing for the pandas to play in, which is adorable. So that just sits up there, and then that is everything in the set. But before I show you the whole set, I wanted to show you something that I found at the back of the instructions. We have some real images of some panda pandas. Very cute. And so, yeah, this is the whole set. We have three pandas. They can go for a wash. I might as well clean up that dirty panda. They can play. There's a bed back there. There's a slide. There's a climbing frame. We've got the seesaws, the bamboo that's just about everywhere. And I think it just has lots of different um, opportunities to play with it. And it might be a bit fiddly, a bit fragile. Like you can't exactly just pick this one up and move it around. Little things will fall off. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic set. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.